What is going on everybody? Ben here and today I have another lesson for you guys. Today we'll be going over order flow. Now what is order flow? Order flow is essentially just, you know, as easy as it sounds, it is, you know, what way is the market going? What direction are orders traveling? Right? Now, how do we identify that? Using the ideology that we communicate and trade through. In bullish order flow, we are looking for discount or bullish PD arrays to be respected to seek and invalidate or disrespect premium arrays. And for bearish delivery, we are looking to seek premium arrays to pair with discount or bullish arrays to invalidate them. Now I have EU as an example, right? And order flow, and this is how I use order flow. And this is why you guys rarely will see me trade early in the week because I'm looking to align the higher time frame order flow, which is for me the weekly and the monthly, monthly pot if possible, time dependent, but I'm looking to align my weekly time frame, my, my forecasted weekly expansion with intra-week price action. So first I look for on the weekly time frame, where do I expect the weekly candle to expand to? As you guys know, I gave you guys bullish expansion on the week as depicted here. These were my instances I sent out to the group for the week. And as we can see, that's clearly supported by order flow. Three month for value gap, accumulation, displacement for value gap respected, displacement order block respected, displacement. So bullish order flow on the weekly. So forecasting bullish order flow, I look to see, I look to pair <coughs> a discount array which will frame my weekly low in this case with my premium array for the week, which will, which will be my weekly objective this week. And I'll zoom in a little further this week. I gave you guys <clears throat> this breaker block as a possible objective. In this vicinity, we have a weekly for value gap as well as buy side liquidity. And I'll just annotate this one level right here. So I was using this as a draw. Now, as I said, we look to pair in bullish order flow, discount arrays to seek premium arrays. So what did I give you this week? To start the week, and this is the weekly opening candle, this large blue candle here. And this is the low I directed everyone's attention to as well. In order for us to seek this discount array at this price, right here, what is the premium array that can take us down there? I chose the buy side liquidity as the premium array. Price opens aggressively on Sunday, trades up into buy side liquidity, makes a short term shift in market structure on the lower time frame. Let's hop into the hourly. <clears throat> so with the current narrative, is this valid to take as a short? Absolutely. It's more technical than waiting for timeframes to align with your expected weekly expansion, but you can still trade with the narrative you've created. You know, as long as price is giving you supporting signs that in the short term, order flow is that direction. And here you see buy side liquidity purged, no closes above liquidity, displacement created market structure shift here 
So I'm looking for premium arrays to pair with the discount array in form of this liquidity. Now you can take this fair value gap here, this order block here, there's even a small fair value gap here, or you can use a fib. You know, this for, for many people, this is a valid short, but we're not going to get into that. Price delivers into your discount array. Midweek. And this is where blending concepts comes together. This is Tuesday. Tuesday, we hit our discount array that we were pairing with our weekly objective up here. What is the first sign that there may be a change in state of delivery? SMT. So the hourly, we look for correlated assets. And here, At 10 and 11 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, we make lower lows in EU. And higher lows in GU. So we have our first inclination on the hourly time frame that price may be aligning with our weekly expansion objective. We can then zoom in. The hourly has already suggested that we are aligning. From there, we get a market structure shift with displacement and a fair value gap that gets respected here. At this point, once you see this candle close, you can assume that this time frame has aligned with the hourly and you can begin to engage based on hourly structure. <clears throat> let's all zoom in to the one minute. Inside of this fractal, we see the same model. We have accumulation going into London Open. We take out sell stops here. We displace, creating a fair value gap. Now you can see this displacement. If you've waited to not just buy this fair value gap, you can see this displacement and wait. Say, okay, we've displaced up and then we've displaced down. Wait for further evidence. So this doesn't really break this swing high, even though there's a swing high right here. That gets violated with displacement, you can wait. Here we have a second displacement for value gap entry. Much cleaner. Now, as you'll notice, look at the size of the candles. These candles are pretty much the same as this candle, but look at this candle. And look at this candle. Trading on side with high time frame, higher time frame order flow, you'll more often notice that the ranges can be hit faster and the ranges are bigger themselves. So that wraps up how I utilize high time frame order flow and pairing order flow with my bias. Intro week to create actionable setups. Hope this was helpful. And in part two, I will be giving you guys a trade breakdown. Talk to you soon.